Hello and welcome to the Network Essentials series. This time we'll dive into the nuts and bolts of static and dynamic network routing. Network routing is the process by which routers set network paths. These paths determine how your data packets can travel from one point to another and back without interruptions or delays. There are two types of routing, static and dynamic. Static routing is generally used when you're familiar with your network and its layout. That means you know the IP address of the end device it wants to reach and the gateway through which it can reach it. A similar process applies when configuring a default route to help reach a host of any unknown destination that hasn't been defined by other routes. Using this information, you create the static network route to the end device through which it will always be reachable. However, since static routing is done manually, it has to be maintained and managed continuously. If something like the routing path or end device IP address changes, the static route will no longer be able to provide access to that end device. On the other hand, dynamic routing is used to automatically deploy a mass of desired routes. This type of routing has multiple routers which connect a myriad of endpoint devices and interconnect them to one big wide area network or WAN for short. So if one router goes down, it won't disrupt the network's connectivity. Other routers from the same WAN will maintain uninterrupted connectivity. Dynamic routing selects the best path to the end device by, for example, checking how many hops through different routers it would take to reach it or by picking a route with the lowest overall cost. Static and dynamic routing are kind of similar to driving. Let's say with static routing you know the single shortest, least crowded way to your friend's house. If one part of that road suddenly closes, you get stuck. Dynamic routing is like driving to your friend's house with multiple possible roads in mind. If you're driving and you see heavy traffic or a closed road on your go-to path, you just switch to a different path. It might be a longer one, but the switch itself saves you time. Hopefully this helped you to understand the basics of static and dynamic routing types. If you're interested in finding out more about Network Essentials, check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.